So the iPhone 16 is coming out soon and Apple is not focusing on numbers but actual practical features like design, battery performance and display. The rear design now has a vertical camera setup similar to the iPhone 10 and S Max. So from diagonal camera setup in the 15 series, Apple is now using vertical camera setup with a main and super wide angle camera. Yeah, this will help shoot spatial radios. The iPhone Pro lineup is getting larger displays at 6.3 inch and 6.9 inch. Side guard volume keys, an action button which can be now used to trigger different functions like turning on flashlight or translate and yes you guys can silent your device as well. So mute switch is now gone and we have an action button which you guys can customize from the settings. And then there's a capture button as well which can shoot instant photos and videos. The side top and bottom bezels are getting even thinner thanks to border reduction technology. The BRS technology is gonna achieve this by rolling up the internal copper wiring into a more compact package. So all in all, definitely something different from last gen devices and I like how Apple is focusing in terms of the design as well. Shocking news coming in from IT Home China, the iPhone 16 series is gonna feature 40 watts of fast wire and 20 watts of max safe charging. Now that is an amazing news because iPhone always had slow charging compared to Samsung OnePlus and Xiaomi. The iPhone 15 Pro Max with 23 watts input takes around 1 hour 40 minutes for a full charge and I think the iPhone 16 Pro Max with 40 watts charging would take approx 1 hour 10 or 20 minutes for a full charge. I yeah, don't expect much difference but still 40 watts is a welcome change. Some latest news coming in, the iOS 18 source code suggests that Apple might use A18 Bionic in both Pro and non-Pro models. This means same power and performance in all four variants but in terms of the GPU we might might see some sort of binning or underclocking in the standard 16 and 16 plus. Oh, Jesus, that. Apple is expected to use on-device AI in the iPhone 16, so maybe that is why they are loading even the non-pro variant with a powerful A18 based on 3 nanometer process. Uh -huh. These are some of the AI features coming alongside the iPhone 16 series. So with a writing assist can fix grammar, summarize it into key points, so that is something next level, and this all is free of cost forever. The iOS 18 will let you create animated images of any person or place or item, and finally we have Siri which is powerful than ever. From from sending a text or email, finding a photo and adding it to notes, to searching for what's on the screen, Siri can do almost anything. Some news coming in from ET News, the iPhone 16 Pro is gonna have Samsung's latest and most powerful M14 panel with a brighter display and efficiency. The new display can reach max 1200 nits HDR and 1600 nits HDR brightness which is great. The M14 panel will be power efficient and is going to help in better battery life. So all a huge jump in terms of the specifications, the highlight of this device is still taller display and that capture button.